uh, to fight together with these people whom you completely trust, mm. it's uh, it's incredible. Uh, Just tell us what what you're actually doing right now. Um, actually, I'm part- I participate uh, to volunteer battalion, and now I'm fighting fighting together with the Ukrainian army in Kharkiv region now, uh, front line. Uh, so yeah. So what does that actually involve? I mean, I know that many Ukrainians have, you know, never picked up weapons before and they've had to. We've spoken to to many people like that. You know, you were a filmmaker and you are now yeah. physically <laughs> fighting with the Ukrainian army. What what does that involve? Have you had any training? What do you have to do? Uh, yeah, we had, uh, no, it's already uh, one month I'm uh, uh, in this battalion and uh, my platoon. Uh, so yeah, we had uh, uh, like um, we trained a lot. Uh, first, we were on the front line, but at the same time, we were learning lots of things. Also, how to use I don't know and love how to use different kind of weapons. Uh, uh, how to like also strategical like uh, classes or like uh, uh, workshops. I don't know how to how to mm. call it. Uh, uh, also about uh, explosive things. Uh, so, and step by step, we're learning more and more things. But at the same time, we are already on the front line. So we can yeah. also pra- practice some things. And what would you say the overriding, the main emotion is that you feel just now? Is it fear? Is it a, a kind of feeling of solidarity a Solidarity among amongst people you're fighting with? Is it... I, I don't know. How how do you feel? Uh, uh, it's like I, uh, <clears throat> I think I lost my fear already in uh, 2014, 2015. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have lots of solidarity with uh, with guys, with people, with me. Uh, they're just uh, beautiful people, and uh, uh, just uh, fears that I have, just that it can this war can. Uh, be slowed down, kind of, and uh, of course we all would like that all all of this will finish soon. But I I have feeling that uh, it will be longer than everybody expect. Right, and Elisa, I'm sure you've had you've had this kind of conversation, internal conversation with yourself that that you have, um, you've sorted out in your head that you are willing, prepared, able to, if you have to defend your country, defend yourself, to kill another person or potentially to be killed yourself? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm more prepared to be killed by myself than to kill somebody. Uh, yeah, if, to be honest, uh, uh, I, I don't think... I, I'm, I try and, I'm trying not to think about this. Mm. Uh, when it will be a fight, it will be a battle. Yeah, like I will do what what I have to do, but I try not to think about this. Of course. Uh, and I'm sure you're thinking a lot about your son. We, we spoke um, last about how you'd hope to see him for his sixth birthday. How How is he? Ah, uh, yes, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's okay. Um, he's with my mother. Yeah, he, today he, uh, he will go again to to school. Uh, yeah, but sometimes my mother, um, my mother told me that she is, uh, he's sad, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, my mother is asking why, yeah, why you are sad, and he's saying because my mother is not with me. Uh, but uh, but generally he's uh, um, he's happy uh, with um, with my mother there and with school mm-hmm. and with all his uh, French relatives. Just I'm so sad that I cannot come for his birthday. Mm. Uh, his, his birthday because my my husband will go to France to celebrate together with his his birthday, and when my husband told me, I I was like so sad uh, that I couldn't come. So I was like uh, I really wanted to cry. Oh no. You'll have many, many more birthdays with with your son. Uh, we are sure of it. Elisa, thank you so much um, for talking to us and, and bringing us up to date with what you're doing. And we will speak to you again, no doubt. That is Elisa Kovalenko. She is a filmmaker who is now fighting with the Ukrainian army. 